following program is intended for mature audiences. A Democratic Republic of Sports. The Sportsocracy with ESPN Asheville hosts Tank Spencer and Jeremy Green. Welcome into the Wicked Weed Studio. I'm Tank Spencer. He's Jeremy Green. Two weeks into this 2021 NFL season, one of the surprise teams for me especially. I was wrong, okay? Let's start the video with I was wrong. I was wrong, 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 wrong. Drink it you, in, man. Does that make you feel better? Yeah. The yeah. Las Vegas Raiders have been the surprise of the start of the NFL season here, and I'm going to put it all on Derek Carr because I have always put it all on Derek Carr that I don't know that he is the guy that can lead this team to a whole bunch of wins. Well, guess what? I think in 2021, he's going to be the guy that leads this team to a whole bunch of wins. Through the first two games of the season against teams that we respect, the Ravens and the Steelers, they are 2-0 and, you know, 33-27 against the Ravens on that Monday night football opener, and then they took care of business against the Pittsburgh Steelers. Now, of course, Do you realize he's thrown for 140 more yards than, or 130 more yards than any quarterback in the league? Yeah. Yep. Yep. 817 yards through the first two games of the year. Average. He's averaging 416 yards a game. Mm -hmm. That's crazy. It's 408, but okay. Whatever. Only been picked off once. Mm -hmm. Only been sacked five times across. Two games against two of the best defenses in the league. Mm -hmm. He's been unfucking believable. Mm -hmm. And you have to take into account that he's mi he was missing three offensive line starters last week, this past week against the Steelers. Josh Jacobs got hurt in the first game. He wasn't there this week. Kenyon Drake and Peyton Barber combined to not do much against an elite team, and you still beat them in their house. <laughs> right. I just feel so good that I was so right on the Raiders. <laughs> <laughs> we went over their schedule since the two wins that they've picked up so far, and it looks like this could possibly be a 12-win team. Mm -hmm. And Raiders fans, I was wrong. I'll say it for the 14th time. I apologize. I will say I, I, I still have my doubts about this team. Is my it, biggest doubt is Alex Leatherwood. Yeah. He's been the worst right. offensive tackle in the league. Mm-hmm. And yeah. this is in a league where Sam Cosme plays in it. So that's saying a lot. Mm -hmm. The offensive line is still somewhat of an issue. It's going to continue to be somewhat of an issue. Josh Jacobs being banged up, that's not going to last very long. But I don't know. I haven't felt like he's been super great anyway. No, he just takes some of the pressure off Carr. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, I, for the long term, I don't want to see... I don't really want to see Carr having to throw for 382 in games like this, but mm -hmm. he's just been so damn good. I think getting Josh Jacobs back will help. And above all else, the schedule leans out. This week you play the Dolphins, who will either have Jacoby Brissett or a less than 100% to a tongue of Iloa. Plus, you have a lot of pissed off from last year that that's who cost you a playoff spot. Yeah. God, that's my favorite bet of the week. I don't even know what the number is, and I don't care. They're going to beat the <laughs> hell out of the Dolphins solely because they can. It was very, very promising to see Henry Ruggs have a big game in week two. Darren Waller, of course, had the big game in week one, and that's going to continue. I think the Steelers showed, though, even though they had injuries on that side of the on the defensive side of the football, they were still able to key in and contain Darren Waller. Another part of this for the Raiders is that just, I mean, look who they play between now and that date with the Cowboys on Thanksgiving. All right, so you get the Dolphins this week, then you're at the Chargers. Mm -hmm. That may or may not be your first loss. It's going to be close. It, it gets very shootouty. Then you go Bears at the Broncos, who I don't buy, uh, the Eagles at the Giants, the Chiefs, and the Bengals. Mm -hmm. That's a shitload of wins. I mean, a shitload. I think, honestly, honestly, Going into that date with the Cowboys, I can't see them having any more than three losses. Agreed. And I don't even – I don't even really see two. Well, on the road in your division is always tough. So at the Chargers is going to be tough. At the Broncos is going to be tough. I think that game probably will signal what the rest of the season is going to look like. Like if, if Derek Carr can do this against another – tough defense another tough secondary like the denver broncos e, or at least i will feel way better 
about their prospects going down the rest of the season. I, I mean, and, and look, I like the Broncos to a point. I just don't buy that they're – I don't buy that they're Chiefs Raiders level good. I think those no, two teams not. are off in the distance. No, they're not. But they do play tough. They play tough at home. It's – Denver's a weird environment. Even when they were shit, they could still beat good teams mm -hmm. when they played at home. 100%. So – I know I know what you're saying. Yeah, yeah okay, I just, all right. I don't – I look at the. I think the Raiders are going to win two games in Denver. Mm -hmm. I think they'll split with the Chargers. I'll go home and home split with the Chargers. Home and home split with the Chiefs. Mm -hmm. And other than that, I don't see a lot of. I mean, I think the floor for them now is eleven and six. I'd agree. I think the floor is eleven and six. You took down two of the best teams you'll play all year, mm -hmm. and now you've got momentum. You've got just the attention to detail seems to be a lot more than it has been in years past. And the beginning of the season has kind of swayed us on how the backstretch of that season, uh, backstretch of that schedule is going to look. Because mm -hmm. coming into the coming into the year, looking at uh, you start with the Cowboys on uh, uh, November twenty fifth. You had Cowboys, Washington. We don't uh, anybody still on the Washington train. Yeah, Taylor no, Heineke against uh, Derek Carr. I'll take <laughs> Derek Carr every time. At the Chiefs, at the Browns, which that's not uh, that doesn't have the luster that it did at the beginning they of the year. They struggle with the freaking Texans. So. Right, and then you got the Broncos at home at the Colts. No, we're 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 good with the Colts, and then you can close with the Chargers at home. You feel much better about that now after two weeks of the season than you did at the beginning of the year. So yes, there are a lot of wins on here. We went over the schedule. And I think we I ended up at twelve and five for this Las Vegas Raiders team that would be a massive overpay. I, I on just what look their at their expectation way. was. I, I just look at it this way with the Raiders. You have three of the top forty five graded wide receivers in the league. That does not include Darren Waller because he's tied in. Mm-hmm. This is going to be a pass happy offense. I can, hell, I can see Derek Carr throwing 5,000 plus yards this year. Uh, are, are we ready to say surprise of the season already has been Brian Edwards? He's been way better and way more targeted than I thought he would be. It's, it's, it's not a surprise for me. I heard that all offseason that they were still very high on him. He was going to be a huge part of the offense. Mm -hmm. uh, it, to me, the surprise is how good Henry Ruggs was this past week. Yeah. But, Brian, I mean, Brian Edwards wasn't overly targeted yesterday. Mm -mm. No, but he still seems to find himself in those scoring positions. Mm -hmm. And that is a key to success, no doubt. He has a week coming. I don't know who it's against, but he has a week coming where he is going to go ballistic. Raiders start off the season 2-0, and, two and, oh, and they are number one tied with the Denver Broncos in the AFC West like the prospects for the rest of the season for the Las Vegas Raiders. And, of course, we will keep you updated on their trajectory throughout the year right here in the Sportsocracy. Be sure to hit that subscribe button so you see all of our team-by-team -team content come out. And don't forget to uh, join us every weekday morning here in the Wicked Weed Studio at 10 a.m. I'm Tank Spencer. He's Jeremy Green. We'll see you next time.